back to another video. It's Codebreaker Gaming, back with another Tekken 8 character customization video. This series has been inspired by X-Men 97, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. If you guys haven't seen it, you need to check it out. It is fire. However, while inspired by X-Men 97, this particular video will be focusing on the 20th Century Fox version of a character known as Aurora Monroe. You know her by her X-Men name of Storm, the mutant with the ability to control and manipulate the elements of the weather. So without any further delay, let's jump into the customization requirements to create the 20th Century Fox version of Storm. As we all know, played by actress Halle Berry. So let's do it. So requirement number one, you're gonna wanna be using a character named Azucena or tease as you can see I have her selected here on screen she is one of the newer characters in Tekken 8 one of the three thus far okay so we're gonna start off at this top menu where it says body and we're gonna click into body we're gonna change her hair okay now if you guys know what Halle Berry looks like playing Storm, she had a variety of different hairstyles as the movies progressed. But for the purposes of this video, I think the one that suits her best is going to be this one. The Lee Short Center Part Haircut. Lee Short Center Part Haircut. It costs 50,000 fight money coins. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. And as you can see, there we have it. Now, anybody who's a real X-Men fan, they know that Storm's hair is not this color, it's not black. So once you've selected the Lee Short Center Part haircut, you're going to press triangle. And we're going to change the color. As you can see, it's only one color palette. So we're going to change that color palette to what else would it be but white. Now it does look kind of uh like there's some pink in there but don't worry too much about that you can also take a look at this color here that's supposed to be like a light color <laughs> it actually well wow, that's crazy so we're going to change that one color palette to white okay now if you want to go a little bit further we can go into the details and we can try to see where it's all it's as white as it's going to get we can bring it over here it doesn't matter which way you go with it but that's about as white as it's gonna get alright and once you've selected uh, the least short center part here gonna turn it white in color it'll look like this so it's not as white as it can get but this is what you want it to look like okay we're going to go back to the top menu. We're going to come down to eyes. Everybody knows Storm has normal eyes when she is not controlling the elements. However, when she is controlling the elements, her eyes become all white. So we're going to use the white glow. And I do believe that the, to unlock the white glow eyes, that is uh, unlockable only with the fight pass, the current season's fight pass. I can't remember what level you have to reach to unlock them, but here they are. We're going to select those. And as you can see, we are now cooking with grease. We're going to go back to the top menu. We're going to leave Storm's eyebrow colors as they are. She doesn't need any makeup. She doesn't need anything on her cheeks. No blush. Lip color neutral is fine. There will be no face paint on Aurora Monroe. However, we are going to use the tan option and we're going to select tan to make her this nice um, caramel color brown as you can see there on screen. All right, and once you've done so, we're gonna back out to the top menu. We're gonna come on down to her clothes. We're not gonna put anything on her head. Um, a lot of these customization options so far are total BS. Like, I can, I can, I can, I can see how I can make use of uh, maybe a couple of these options, but most of them, like the the bread head and the cone head and the panda head, like, come on, man, seriously. So, for this video, we're not going to use anything on her head. We're not going to use anything on her full face. And again, these options 
are crazy okay however if you want to see me make use of these particular options you want to go to my channel uh, my Tekken 8 playlist where you see that I did do a series on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers where a few of these options were used glasses we're not gonna put any glasses on storm now we're gonna come down here to her entire body now we are going to be changing her default skin the one she has on now is her Tekken 8 style for player one we want to move it on over to the cyber suit okay looks like such now the cyber suit the only way to acquire this particular item is through the Tekken shop you cannot acquire this through uh, regular character progression you cannot acquire this through the fight pass it is a purchasable item in the Tekken shop it does cost 400 Tekken coins which is the equivalent to five dollars in uh, actual currency and they have two bundles if you purchase this you'll have to purchase it for the female bundle and by doing so every female character in the game will gain the cyber suit skin there's also a male equivalent bundle where every male character will gain the cyber suit skin okay so you want to purchase the cyber suit and that is how you that is how you acquire it and now you want to press triangle because we're going to make just a few short changes it's going to be fairly quick and easy so for color palette number one we're gonna make it black simple enough right for color palette number two what color do you think we're gonna make this this is also gonna be black mm -hmm. and for color palette number three we're gonna make that white now yellow is uh, an option that some of you may want to use it does uh, suit storm however the 20th century fox you may want to go with a lighter color like either this it's supposed to be gray uh, the white is a little bright so we're actually gonna run with the gray it still looks almost the same color but it doesn't radiate as much so we we'll select gray okay and those are the only three color palettes that we have for the cyber suit now that we've made those selections we're gonna back out to the top or the sub menu here not gonna put anything on her upper body nothing on her lower body we're not changing her boots now when you come to unique we are going to put remove on unique and what that'll do that gets rid of the uh, flower that was on the left side of her head okay you guys seeing what we're doing here now that I mean if you guys <laughs> this this is I mean the customization is practically done and uh, in, in, in the physical aspect um, but we're gonna back out and go back to the top menu we'll take a look at the accessories now <clears throat> now uh, to be honest we're probably not gonna make use of any of these not as of yet because I mean these accessories are not none of them are really suitable to storm I would love to actually let me let me let me experiment with something rather quickly I don't know how this is gonna work but let me see what happens when I do this okay they put it on her head that's a bone that's a bonehead color I mean bonehead place to put it but we do have the option of moving it down and it goes down her back oh it goes in her body that is that is weird let's back out of that we're not going to use this um, I was actually looking to put something on her belt line where's the rose the rose does the same thing but I may be able to do let me let me see overall size we can make it smaller big front and back width is already maxed out we can flatten it I guess okay let's move it forward ah there we go ah we go now let's move it down it's, it's not gonna go that far down though I bet that is so sad 
That is so sad. All right, so we're gonna back out of this option. We won't be able to use this. And it doesn't look like I'll be able to put anything on her belt line. Well, we do have a belt buckle. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I, it's as simple as that. So we're gonna use the belt buckle. Um, we're gonna confirm that. And then, uh, let me see something. We can change the color. I don't think we need to. Yeah, we really don't need to. I do believe the X-Men, the 20th Century Fox X-Men's uniforms were a standard leather black um, with other black details. I do believe the X, was the X yellow, maybe? Oh my God, that's not even touching her. Look at this. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the belt buckle. We need to put this on her body, apparently. Let's move it back. Front and back with, like, hello. Okay. okay, let's keep that. Let's go to the front, the back and forth. So we have to move it back with the, uh, and that works pretty well. So, ooh. And we need to move it. There you go. So you want the belt buckle um, accessory for accessory slot number one. You want to, the only thing you want to change is move it left, right, minus one. Okay. And move front back minus five. And that kind of centers it on her pelvic area there, as you can see. You don't want to move it up or down. You don't want, I mean, you don't want to rotate it up or down or left or right. You don't want to tilt it either. And we're going to confirm that. And we're going to leave it the same color that it is. All right. We don't need a second accessory. They don't really look great anyway. Let's, let's, let's look at some of them. Like, if we look at the bangle. Look at that. Like, why is it so big on her arm? back out of there the chain is gonna be too big also like it's crazy bracelet so we're not we don't need a second accessory the corsage I called it a corsage it's a, a frilly grater it goes around her leg and we don't need that either so yeah no accessory for accessory slot number two I'm gonna come on back to the sub menu you can go to other here you get to select uh, which character panel you want to appear in the versus menu I this is the first time I've seen a character have five options you have the Tekken 8 style everybody has an illustration by Jenny an illustration by JB style an illustration by Wolf Marker but Azucena has a fifth option that became unlockable with the uh, fight pass I, th I do believe she is the only character that has a fifth option as of right now and uh, that fifth illustration is by Kenji Kimura I like the wolf marker style illustrations we're gonna come back here to Aura and this is where we really put the finishing touches on the 20th Century Fox Storm we're gonna move on down here and we're gonna put on her the lightning aura in blue Okay and it looks like such back out of there we'll come to her hit aura we want her hit aura to also be something that corresponds to her powers I like the uh, sky blue circle but you guys could also make use of the uh, blue cyclone if you like uh, violet systems blue also works in fact, that's the one I'm going to use, is the Violet Systems Blue. I think that's the one you guys should use as well. Then we back out of there. We come on down here to the Model Viewer submenu. For the background, we're going to change that to background number two. And now the lightning effect really pops. We back out. We come to the Pose at this time character still only have two poses pose number one is what you see on screen pose number two is the uh, fight ready 
You guys can use your own discernment to figure out which pose you want to use. I'm going to stick with pose number one. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this thumbnail. And once again, you can hold R2 to zoom in. You can use L2 to zoom out. Push in the touch pad and use the left stick to move the frame. And you push X to snap the picture. You'll use this image as the customization slot thumbnail. This will be the image you see when selecting your character and you're looking for a custom costume that you created. All right, we're gonna push yes here. We'll push circle to come on back to the sublet menu. Move on down to finish editing. And ladies and gentlemen, you have just effectively created the 20th Century Fox version of Aurora Monroe, AKA the X-Man known as Storm, played by actress Halle Berry in Tekken 8. We'll give her one more spin. You see the hair, the face, the frame, the suit is on par, the lightning effect, the eyes, everything. Take a good look at the thumbnail to this video take a good look at the customization you just made and this is outstanding I think the only thing this is lacking is an actual X-Men logo somewhere on her shoulder sleeve uh, area you know but yeah there you have it we've made storm this is code breaker gaming once again giving you another Tekken 8 character customization video inspired by Marvel's X-Men or in this case the 20th century Foxes X-Men. If you enjoyed this Tekken 8 customization video, do me a favor and tap the like button on this video. Drop a comment below and let me know how well of a customization this is in reference to the 20th Century Fox version of Storm. And if you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. We ask that you turn on your notifications so you can be notified immediately when I upload the next video in the Tekken 8 character customization series. If you enjoy X-Men 97 series, currently on the channel we have Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit, Jean Grey, and Jubilee. We now have Storm and we have several more videos in this series coming. YouTube wants you to take a look at the video on your lower right hand corner of your screen or the one on your upper left hand corner or if you want to view the entire playlist on your lower left hand corner. Go ahead and check out those videos. Leave some comments, push some like buttons, let us know what you think about our customizations. Code Breaker Gaming is now signing out. Thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.